Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Reggie. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and stick around to the end, man. It's going to be a very good episode. Now, ladies and gentlemen, more devastating news is coming out of Brooklyn. Now, if you guys don't know, Kevin Durant suffered a sprained MCL in his right knee, and he is expected to miss an entire month per the reports now ladies and gentlemen it was a very very nasty injury as you guys can see jimmy butler man listen I'm, I'm not happy with jimmy butler right now man he landed in my guy kd's leg and as you guys can see man kd took a nasty nasty fall tried to finish out the game but you know what it was just hurting him so bad that he had to get up and get himself up out of there so ladies and gentlemen now we're going to see just how good kyrie irving is without his buddy Kevin Durant. Now, I'm on record saying, listen, man, I like Kyrie Irving, okay? He's a nice player, all that. But in my opinion, right, he's been really blessed throughout his NBA career. Now, he's played with two of the greatest scorers to ever play the game of basketball. That would be one LeBron James and one Kevin Durant, right? He has not really led a team since his early days back in Cleveland when he couldn't get them into the playoffs. Nope. So, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to see just how good Kyrie Irving is. I looked at the Brooklyn Nets schedule for this next month, ladies and gentlemen, and it is going to be tough sledding for Kyrie Irving and for one Ben Simmons. Yeah, let me get on Ben Simmons for a second, ladies and gentlemen, because this guy here is straight trash, right? Now, I don't know what happened to Ben Simmons. Ever since that series against Trey Young, this guy has been seeing ghosts. His uh, game just completely went to shit, man. And I really just am disgusted with Ben Simmons at this point in his career, man. This dude is 6'10", had all of the talent to be the second coming of one LeBron James, and he completely wasted it. Now, Kendrick Perkins went on ESPN, and this is what he had to say about the Kyrie Irving situation in Brooklyn. Well, you know what? I'm going to be looking at Kyrie Irving. Okay, and I feel like this is a, go a golden opportunity for Kyrie Irving to prove to, to the world that he could be a number one option team that could lead a team into victories, right? Because when you think about him and you think about, you know, his skill set, we know he's a walking bucket. We know he's one of the most skilled guys to ever play the game of basketball. But I want to see him also get others involved. I want to see Kyrie Irving have that type of Tyrese Halliburton effect on this ball club that results in two wins. Also, we already know Kyrie is up for a contract this upcoming season. I want to see, can he be that leader, right? Can he be that voice? We saw Kevin Durant start to be that voice, start to, you know, take Claxton under his wing, start to be a second voice to Jock Vaughn. Can Kyrie Irving be that number one guy while Kevin Durant is out? Remember, they're only one game behind Boston right now. Since, like, right now as we speak, can Kyrie Irving keep them in that top tier? And look, a Tyrese Halliburton comp is not a joke these days. That man is leading the NBA in assists, so that is some high praise or at least a high comparison. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, you guys just heard Kendrick Perkins on NBA Today, if I'm not mistaken. Now, what is very interesting to me is that this same type of situation happened last year in Brooklyn, if you guys remember, the Brooklyn Nets were playing some pretty good basketball, just like this year. Kevin Durant goes down with pretty much the exact same injury, and he misses a month of time. The Brooklyn Nets go on to get the seventh seed in the playoffs, and as you all know, they were the only team to get swept in last year's playoffs in the first round. <laughs> now, Kevin Durant, over the summer, put in a trade request after the Brooklyn Nets told Kyrie Irving that they were not going to give him a new contract. Now, in my opinion, Sean Marks, Joe Sy, y'all should have traded Kevin Durant while he was healthy, while you guys still had some leverage, man. Um, I believe they had a deal with Boston. Boston was willing to give up Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart. I would have done that deal, man. Listen, you guys got to go ahead and blow this thing up, okay? It's been four years. The reality of the situation is, is that Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving are just not going to get it done. And you damn sure ain't winning a thing with Ben Simmons on your roster, okay? This dude is a walking liability on an NBA court at this point. He is scared to play. He was an all-star, was an all-NBA caliber player, but at this point in his career, man, listen, he's just a shell of himself. And I don't think he's ever going to recover. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, I just don't see it. At this point, I believe his confidence is shot. So I want to get you guys' comments 
in the comment section down below, man. Do you guys just think the Brooklyn Nets need to go ahead and just blow this thing up? Like I said, it's been four years, man. They have yet to make it to an Eastern Conference Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, in four seasons, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving have yet to get out of the second round, man. I mean, this is flat out ridiculous. If this was LeBron James, y'all would not do this to him. Y'all would not give him chance after chance after chance after chance, man. You just wouldn't. I remember LeBron James saying one time on Instagram Live that if he hadn't have won in that second season with Miami, y'all remember in that game six when they went up to Boston and he had that historic 45-15-5 and five game. He said, man, if he wouldn't have won that game and won that series, he believes that Pat Riley would have went ahead and blew that Miami Heat big three up. I don't know what is the hold up with the Brooklyn Nets, man. It's time to blow it up in my opinion. But I want to know what you guys think, man. This was another installment of the locker room. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. School, cool kids wasn't cool to me. They never really liked me. Being hated isn't new to me, but uh, I get it. Cause when you're winning, they isn't. Jealousy has no ending, so pray the Lord, forgive them. Every day I gotta thank them for the blessings. Rumors about my life, will I ever address them? I don't know. Worry about your kicks, my nigga, and what are those? <laughs> yeah, we don't know. Music nowadays, but y'all gotta be kidding me. Lyrics was whack, gave him an A for his energy. You tried, my nigga, I would tell you keep it up. But the way my shit sound and I can't see you keeping up. I'm the new leader of the new, new niggas. Says a lot about you if you ain't fucking with us. So go on and ask them who the greatest is. And you can keep your two cents if you ain't paying the bills. It's real. Make a prayer. The story. 